Hey guys, Moon 99 here, bringing you my second tutorial video on how to build a Minecraft Viking settlement house. As you can see, I've got the roof already finished. I'm going to set down some torches. Yeah. Okay, um, after that, we're, we're going to just have a splash of night vision so we can all see right now um let's get into it here we go okay so now we're gonna work on the attic and this part of the roof because otherwise it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Dylan, stop, please. This is not how we're doing it. Yes. <laughs> so And for some reason he sees me as Alex. Which I'm might be a bit weird for him. It's okay with me. It's true. You you look like um you to me. And then on the top here, we're gonna put cobble stairs. I'm on 1.8.9, you. So on here, we're going to put in... T so as soon as Dylan comes here, up here, we are going to show... I'm going to show you how to make the Viking area look a bit better. And then you're going to do that to every other side. Dylan, could you do the other side for me, please? But only on the little folds areas. This makes it look a bit better than it is now. I will admit, but it's not like it's going to make... You could leave this out if you want. It's gonna take too much cobblestone, especially if you do it in survival mode. And plus, the wood collecting is probably gonna make you clear out half your world by then. So, from there, bam, bam, bam. And lose a friend. So now you break that up and then put into a and like that. Same. Competition, though, so whatever. Now that you're done with that part, your house definitely looks much better. It's got a very great new distinguished look to it. You're going to add in more details. <laughs> Including, you're going to now put... Like that, just straight through it. It 
to spam me, just keep typing stuff. And then you can take some stone brick or cracked stone brick. In this case, I will actually use cracked stone brick for the Viking feel of it. I don't know what the one's doing actually. This part's almost just for pure decoration, but it looks much better with it, so. So you're going to just do it as far as here. Or not. <laughs> I'm not remembering it. And I'm going to take some cobble stairs, put one in like this, one in like that, to another side. And here you're going to do, well it's going to actually be getting a bit more interesting now. So you're going to want to take some iron bars and some of wood and also take back with that uh crack stone pick and put it down like that as a window. Do that as another window. Here you're going to want to do bam, bam. Just like that. And then on the sides here, I'm going to take some cobble slabs and do this. on only the two sides that you put them on. So, and then you want kind of rustic flowers. You might want to put some sand and some dead bushes on them because you're in a Viking-y area. You have to think about what they're doing. Were they actually doing a lot of that stuff that you see them do in the movies? Just like that. And then you're gonna make it a small farm, actually. So. First, you're gonna wanna put the water buckets. And then you're gonna get the hoe. Now, since Vikings eat food, I, Dylan's going to be planting some carrots and potatoes on this side. Well, I'm going to be planting some wheat on this side. Mm 
grab a hoe. Put it up to the ground and then place your wheat in it. Do bone meal them, especially if you're looking for a kind of finished, good looking farm. Just like that. And on this, well, first you're gonna need to choose a door. I'm gonna have to. Uh, oh, that's actually really nice, Dylan. <laughs> so, as I was saying, you got spruce door, but on both sides, you want to put. Spruce wood stairs. Like that. Makes a nice little bench. And then you're going to want to do that on the other side, Dylan. And then on the side, you're going to take an item frame and then. Place it down like that. Mm. Just make some care share. Yeah. Um, very nice. Oh yeah, we'll get to that later. Um, the front actually has to look the best, but of course you want every part to look the best. You can make it. So that's gonna be the two benches on the side. And from here, you're going to put some iron bars along with some cracked stone. From there, you're going to want to take some cobble stairs. And then put iron bars right there. Just like that. So now you've got the outside of your house about all done. Except for this side. Or, for the most part, the path. For the path, you're going to need coarse dirt, podzol, cobblestone, and a bit, just for kicks, birch leaves. I will go far away from this place so Dylan can take a screenshot. Right now you can see the house is kind of plain from the back. Now that's the part I will be showing you how to do in the next video. That's going to be the area where we're, when we're doing farming. The backyard and small parts of the settlement. Okay, that is good. Slash so the world spawn. And you're going to want to just randomly place your pods all and occasionally the birch leaves for effect. 
Always looks good. I'll do it later. Whoopsie. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how this would withstand, like, a creeper, but at least it looks good. I don't like houses in a hill. We used to do that a ton, but they were very bad looking, tacking, uninviting, etc., etc. Now you're going to take some of this material and turn them into a gate. We have cheated those. <laughs> so you're going to want to put the gate like this and for a sign I've always thought a good idea is that you take some more of your materials that you use I, I, what do you think we should name this place, actually? I'm going to leave Dylan to decide that when he comes back on. If he does come back on. Perfect timing. So I'm going to put... Torch here and torch there. You're going to put it on that little mossy cobble right there. Or not. Right there. Just like that. Got your nice house now. I'm gonna get some birch over there with a bit of a, just to make it look a bit old but new at the same time. Cause this is not like you're building this, but I always make it have an old feel to it because it's trying to be an old type of house. So you're kidding, right? Uh, maybe I should name it. <laughs> okay. So right now, this is the house. It's already quite nice. But for a good light source in the front, you always want one of those so you don't walk outside at night and then there's a zombie gonna greet you. So now let's go inside. We'll work on what we have here. Giant roof. Very, very huge roof. This is the problem a lot of us run into when we're building these. What? Oh, uh, where's the title? The house. Um, cool. So, as I was saying, one of our biggest problems is when we have that. It's very big, it's very huge, you have to have something there to open. Which is why I want to show you what to do. You're going to want to take some cracked or stone brick, up to you guys. Thank you. And then put it right here. And then build that around the rest of the area. 
stone will eventually start helping, I guess. I can just keep doing that. Man, man, man. In later videos, I'll be showing you how to enhance your settlement with nature and scenes and all that. That will probably be number four. Could you stop? Now, if you build enough of these, you could probably make a pretty great. There you go. Would you please stop now? Glass. Can you stop that? Before I log off this room. Yes, I do have a Minecraft realm, which not many of you should know, because I am bad as No. Uh, here we go. Got the way into the attic. So now you're going to want to take that. So we'll be doing the rest of the video with Adam. I want to keep doing this. More of a support to the area. Oh God. So it doesn't have to be even at all. At all. Not once. So I've got all these little support joints. And then you put spruce wood. Raw spruce. And put them at the top. Like so. So this part will be left empty. Or if you really want, it could become a storage room, even though this is very cramped. Compact. Not gonna do much. And here you've got all the very... <laughs> now that you've got this, you've got the very nice little... Are you done? You can now worry about this part. Done this aisle, I'm going to put an anvil, another anvil. Just like that. And then you're going to want to put two furnaces and fill it with charcoal. And it was kind of weird charcoal, but I'm pretty sure they used something more like that back in the day. And the rest of this room, well, let's see. You can do more smelteries. You can do enchanting. It's anything you want. In this case, I'm going to put a meeting room. Like 
I'm gonna get an interesting looking table. Let's do this. Grab some cobbled stairs. I had my inventory, but I did not know that. Sorry for any noise that is going on in the background. This is Mozart right now. Um. And then you're going to want to take a brown carpet. Put it across the middle. Like that. Grab some flower pots, put it like that. And you've got a little dining table. Of course you want to put very nice, um... Some very nice stuff into it, so you're going to want to take some more of your use for a while thing. Just like that. And on the sides. Maybe. So there you have it. Meeting table. From there, you might want to make a little jar with something in it. Now, I recently learned how to do this, but um, you can now do piston tricks and other stuff to enhance the looks of this place. Including, now you can add probably a book sh bookshelf area. Because that would definitely be a very nice add-on to this entire place. Get some anvils, maybe an enchantment table for looks. Oh, an enchantment table like that. So you've got like a... Not like a book holding area, but it's a book shelf thing. <sighs> this is something I've never tried before, so don't judge when I'm doing this. Grab. Um. Sorry, what? Okay, we're back at bottom floor. This is where you're going to want to put a lot of your main stuff. So, let's get to that. Do something like that. Nice looking furnace. Put some furnaces in the middle like that. And we've got a super smelter area. Then for kicks, you want to add these, put in like that. And then you kind of want to put a herb. So I'm going to just take this fern and put it in there. Put it in like that. So then you've got a nice cooking area. And then a crafting table, both sides. So, unfortunately, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you have a good time, and bye!